This Bobby Lee and Theo Vaughn comedy clip is going viral right now, but let's break down why. Yeah, this went viral last week and a ton of people sent me this clip to analyze that are not even in the comedy at all. So that's when I knew. Anyway, let's run it. You know, do Chinese people, do they have like... Well, can I ask you something? Yeah. And I honestly believe this. I believe that you don't know what I am. Because several times in this podcast, you've referred to China, and then you look at me. Do you think I'm Chinese? I don't know if you are. No, <laughs> be honest. I don't dude. care if you are. I, I, I don't. I don't. I know you. I know you don't. <laughs> I know you don't. <laughs> I know that you don't care that I am. Okay. Yeah. I know that you don't care, right? I mean, I but, do care, but it doesn't matter. To it me. doesn't matter to you. Yeah. You're it, welcome I, around me. I know you love me regardless. Yeah. Right. But it is information that you should fucking. Memorize. Okay, well, chill, bro. It's information you should fucking memorize because I've known you for 20 fucking years, whatever, dude. It's not about chill or not chill, <laughs> right? It's about memorize that shit, dude. Because every time I fucking see you, dude, it's like, China, China, you people in China, why do you guys eat this? You know what I mean? How come you guys run this way? How come you fly? You don't know how to fly or whatever. Whatever you're fucking saying, is, I, I'd be happy to fucking answer those questions. But memorize what the fuck I am! Well, my bad, dude. I'm okay. Chinese. Very seldomly <laughs> do do clips resonate like this throughout the Asian American sphere. I mean, I guess I, like the last things I can think of that I would compare to this is like Russell Peters back in the day with like you're gonna get a hurt real bad. Mm -hmm. Then Ali Wong with the Asian men's bodies are smooth like dolphins, or Ronnie Chang's "I hope you get rich." This. Uh, on an internet virality level within the Asian American sphere, I put it on that level. Yeah, and I think there's a couple main discussions coming out of it. It's one talking about Bobby Lee and him kind of representing Asians in this comedian podcast sphere because there's not that many Asian comedians that are in that podcast sphere. Right, you're saying that's one of the discussions that sparked off of this Yeah, clip. I mean, even though Ronnie Chang is big, obviously Sheng Wong, Ali Wong, they're not doing the podcast route, right? And then also another discussion is about like how still to this day to especially people like Theo Vaughn uh, that an Asian looking person or, or a Chinese passing person will just be considered Chinese. Right, and Theo Vaughn is from rural Louisiana, so yeah. it's like he's representing, <laughs> I guess, more of like a very middle middle America perspective, not this like coastal undergraduate grad school type of vibe. Right, we're going to be talking about it, so please hit that like button, check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. Real quick, smalasauce.com. Pre-orders are still going on right now, although they are ending somewhat soon, so get your finishing oil right here, made with truffle, made in the USA, uh, really fun to use, goes well on everything, smallasauce.com. From Sichuan to Sicily. Real quick, I think uh, it was interesting because there was a discussion about Bobby Lee's place in the Asian world re-sparked again. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I, I feel like for a while, maybe the first 15 years of his career or like 10 years of his career, Bobby was kind of considered outside of the Asian world. You yeah. know what I mean? And then more recently with the podcast, obviously he had an Asian female co-host, a Filipino co-host mm -hmm. for a long time, or actually two Filipino co-hosts. It was, he sort of sort of re-entered the Asian American consciousness. Yeah, and I think a lot of people who are very, very much into comedy, if you're just into comedy, you're like, okay, Bobby Lee, he's a legend. He's still funny. He says some crazy stuff. He's clearly funny. Yeah, he's clearly funny. Um, but then on the other side, if you're more of like the, I guess, Asian American, like proud, like a little bit more militant or an activist, which those are kind of different, but mm. you kind of feel probably the same way about Bobby where you're like, ah, he's not the best representative of Asians. Like I wouldn't want him representing Asians. I know right. he's funny, but like, I don't really like his stuff and what he like represents. Right. Cause he know? also made some jokes against uh, Vietnamese and Filipino people. Right. Back yeah. In the day. I mean, obviously he gets made fun of a lot, like by other comedians because, uh, for a number of reasons, him being Asian is like part of it, but then him like looking a certain way and being fat. Kind of a, a being a fat baby. Yeah. Right? Kinda, like a, or a, or a, like, I guess a person who never grew into their forties, like, you know what I mean? Like frozen in, in freshman year. Yeah, forever. I would say it seems like it appears like within the comedy world amongst the other co comedian juggernauts, he, he takes quite a beating. Like right. he gets roasted a lot, yeah. Right, right, right. But he, but he, sometimes he flips it. But I would say yeah. overall, like eight 
eighty percent he's taken to. But, blood but I'll say this about Bobby Lee as, as far as representing Asians. And then we're going to get on to the conversation about how all Asians just feel Chinese at some point to you know outside people. But Bobby, to me, he's a comedian first, and a comedian's job is to make it funny, make you laugh, make interesting points, say interesting things, tell interesting stories, captivate the room, right? Captivate the room and just make you laugh, entertain you. And I think Bobby does that at a very high level. So you're saying the the thought in the back of his head when he's making everybody laugh is not like, oh, am I making Asians look strong or yeah. like countering stereotypes? That he's, is not his goal. He's more like working within the stereotypical frames, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. So I think if you're a comedian first, he's doing fine. But if he's like, if you're looking for positive male, Asian male representation and Asian masculinity, no, you wouldn't look to Bobby for that. Yeah, so. I would say though that overwhelmingly in a weird way, I felt like 70% of the Asian community used to be against Bobby and 30% supported him. But over the past five years with the podcast, I want to say it's like, 50 50 mm. or maybe even 60 40 pro bobby lee yeah he so he shifted it but I, I think that's also because asians shifted too i think at a time asians were more sensitive and now they're like well all right bobby you know at least you yeah. know he's had a career maybe you've met him maybe you've seen his show he's clearly a funny guy he and but and you're just like i guess you're glad that an asian is out there that famous right and that big in i would say maybe world. it's possible too that he's become more proud too yeah, over, I over, think so. Because I, I remember mean, he was always funny even back in the Mad TV days when he was like, yeah, my dad would tell me, you're not a funny. It was still good, but you kind of got, he it felt too much like, you know, the one Asian guy was like yeah. trying to play to the white gaze too uh -huh. much. But now feels like he's more like on his own now, like 50-50. I, I wouldn't put it past that this is kind of the arc for a lot of Asians in media that it's very hard for them to be proud coming up because they didn't feel like Asians supported them or maybe they feel outsided by the Asian community. The Asian or, movement hadn't hit yet, Yeah, right? the Asian movement was not hitting. Now it's a lot more beneficial and more comfortable to be Asian. He's also more comfortable in himself. He made it. He's rich now. He makes good money, so he doesn't have to worry about his career. And so, yeah, now he gets to lean a little bit more into the Asian pride. Is he ever going to be a militant Korean you know, comedian, never, and I wouldn't expect it, but I think he does care more about being Asian than ever. Yeah, would even being a militant Asian or militant Korean even work? No, probably no. not. But I bet he is more proud than he was... Maybe than, he ever, than ever before, yes. possibly. So anyway, guys, again, make sure you get the likes up on this video. Let's get into the comments section. Somebody said, OMFMG, because I'm pulling this off the of Next Shark IG. Someone said, another horribly out of context Next Shark post. They are just comedians. They are effing around. Everybody knows, Theo obviously knows Bobby is Korean. They are just being funny. And someone said, yes, this is a bit. So basically, some Asians are arguing that some Asians don't understand comedy. So do you, I've been starting to see this a little bit because like you know how the more westernized asians they are thinking that they really understand comedy but then some people who are not it's true that more traditional asians can be more offended by yeah, comedy yeah, sure. but there's still even thresholds within understanding for it. sure i mean and not all comedy is the same and especially when you're cutting out podcast clips things can get dicey out of context they did a whole podcast together probably that was probably an hour two hours long and this is just one of the bits inside of it is it completely fake does theo know that bobby's korean i'm sure theo knew that bobby was korean but maybe he just didn't really think I don't, I don't think he thinks too much about it. I don't it. think Bobby sits there and tries to educate the nuances of yeah. Asians to Theo. Yeah, but no, this is comedy. This is comedy. Anyway, this run some of comedy. the clips. Bruce Lee's son? The crow. He died. <laughs> oh, yeah, he died. Yeah, um, the one that got shot? I remember that. Yeah. He was the first one to do that. You know what I mean? Oh, wow, he was handsome. Handsome, huh? dude. This dude was, she goes, I met someone younger. I looked him up. That's what he looks like. Oh, man. And then you see photos of them like at pool parties and he's ripped. No. Yeah. So I was like, oh. You're more together. Then, you know, I mean, your body style is, no, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't use the term ripped, probably. Yeah, I mean, but what else about him? No, but no, what I'm saying, though, dude, is, and I, I just, just say that I'm fat. I don't think you're fat at all. I think you, but I'm the opposite of ripped. I wouldn't see, yeah, I would say you're, I wouldn't say ripped. I would say you're ripe. Conjoined. Oh, conjoined. Yeah, or John. I would say you're. There's two together. people in one body, I like a Siamese, I mean, like, look, like a Siamese twin thing. I think we could carve one off of you. Probably <laughs> if we wanted to. I have a resentment towards you. I just realized. Yeah, okay. yeah, yes, sir. What is it about? You think and this is not a lie? I swear to God, I swear to God on my life. Okay, 
I believe. So you you know it's real, right? I don't know, but yeah, I'm listening. What do you mean? Yeah, okay. Okay. Whatever. Yeah, I believe three it could time, be real. Three times. Okay. On Hinge when I was on it, mm-hmm. and two times on Raya. Mm-hmm. I matched with a girl, and in the direct message, they said, yo, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but... um." I'm not really. I didn't match with you because I wanted to hook. I I, I want to hook up with Theo. Can you set me up? Damn, <sighs> you didn't set me up. How hard would that have been? I made that birthday video for you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> Dude, oh shit! Never looked at it that way. You know your boys <laughs> out here, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> looking for love. Oh shit, my bad. Okay. And I've always wanted to ask you this. Do you feel Asian? Like, does it feel Asian when you wake up? No, 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 no. That's a funny thing. That's a good question, dude. That's ridiculous. Is it really? Yeah, because I wake up, I don't even think about it. Really? Yeah, this is what the first, every time I wake up, what time is it? And then I go. That's what I think. Where's my phone is the second thing. Yeah. And then the third thing is, I got to pee. Yeah, me too. Then the fourth thing is, I I should get some coffee or something. Then the fifth thing is, am I Asian? (laughs) (laughs) Is it really? (laughs) No. No, you don't think about it. Even when you look in the mirror, you don't go, oh, I'm Asian. The Asian stuff and the way I look is only white people made me aware of that. Oh, wow. People like you. Really? Yeah, because when I was a kid and kids used to come and they do the eye thing, they used to stretch their eyes like this and go ching chong, you know, and all that kind people of stuff. People used to do that to me too because I have real lean eyes. <laughs> Do it to you? Yeah. I guess it kind of hurt my face. It just made me feel like, oh, maybe I'll look a little strange. No, but that's not a strange look. I mean, looking Asian when you're Polish and Nicaraguan. It is a wild idea. But when you were in Shanghai, did anyone go, are you half Chinese? I think some people looked at me like maybe I knew something. Yeah, you do look like you know something. Andrew, we got to get to, you know, how people still feel some type of way about Bobby Lee. Somebody said unpopular opinion. Bobby Lee, like Ken Jong, has hurt Asians more than he's actually helped by portraying us as caricatures instead of actual human beings. Somebody replies back, get over it, they're comedians. Did they ruin your life? Grow a thick skin. And someone said, oh, is this Tijuana story just a joke too? A lot of these so-called comedians are high-key scumbags, low lives, and degenerates. Bobby just isn't someone you want representing your community. And you know, and these are all types of Asians. It's not like the Koreans are all on his side side or all against him either it's like it it's split just down the middle yeah, 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 all amongst different types, Asians no Bobby has all different types of fans for sure um this, this is interesting though because like we said earlier it just kind of depends on what you're looking at do you just see him as a pure comedian that's able to he's a master of laughter yeah. you know he looks funny plus he's got incredible timing and funny jokes that's like an all-star combination well David at what point do you separate okay I think he's a good comedian. He makes me laugh versus he is a positive representation of, of an Asian Of man. Asian male masculinity uh, coming up in the masculinity yeah. ladder yeah, of the I, West. I think right? the tough thing is that those things are separate. You would want people to represent both. I think ideally every guy in their mind is like, okay, Russell Peters, masculine, cool. He represented Asian Wells. Ronnie Chang, good representation. You know, there's a, uh, there's a few so others. So you're saying those are, seem very clear cut. Yeah, those seem clearly positive, And I think Bobby is debatable. But again, there's the comedy side and then there's the Asian representation side. And right. I think that if you're looking for both, maybe he's not the best balance of both. Yeah. Right? I would say actually him and Theo more fit into the like, I'm about the laughter. He's straight comedy. That, and, Even and, Theo Vaughn, I mean, he talks there, about doing drugs and he's very ignorant. He plays yeah. up his ignorance and it's like... They're they're like um, the no holds bar comedians. Yeah, yeah. And where I feel like they just adjust to where like these invisible electric fences mm-hmm. are of like, oh, ooh, that's kind of like a little hot. Yeah. I can't get to... Like society determines those. Yeah. I, I, I will say this, adding on to like comedians telling inappropriate stories on podcasts or like somewhat illegal stories or on even podcasts. fake stories right I, yeah it, it is tough you don't know what is real and fake anymore so sometimes it sounds like they're admitting to something that is actually wrong that they did right. potentially highly illegal right? yeah or yeah whatever highly illegal or, or illegal, immoral or, or whatever immoral whatever it is um and then they just say they're just joking so then you're like is it real or not and it's so hard to judge so i do think that we have to acknowledge that that is a line yeah. that is blurred now if they're on stage talking about something generally you think okay it could be fake but if they're on a podcast then you're kind of like i don't know like i expect yeah. some stuff to be real here yeah i think one thing that i would want all asians to understand about comedy is comedy is sort of like there's like this invisible guitar in the room and these strings based on the tension in the room or the characters or the archetypes that are present in the room the strings are like arranged differently like sometimes that's like a guitar or like a harp and it's just like 
some comedians, they're just trying to play those strings by any means necessary. Mm. Like you said, using real fake moral immoral stories it's just about the laughter right that is cre- the, the laugh the music of laughter mm-hmm. somebody said i can never take bobby lee seriously he'd go on a tangent about traumatic stuff then he'd joke out of it and then you don't know if you're supposed to have empathy or laugh at him or with him yeah, yeah this I mean, is I, that's what makes him such a unique comedian yeah. though right yeah i mean i think overall if bobby lee is talking just don't take anything he says seriously i think that's that's how you would go about it. <laughs> Somebody said, oh my gosh, this made me laugh so loud. He's Korean. Clearly look at his eyes. Someone said he totally looks Korean. I never would have thought he was Chinese. Andrew, you actually have the same eyes as Bobby Lee. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. Andrew's no, Chinese. I mean, I've on. been, uh, oddly enough, I've been compared to Bobby Lee throughout my time on YouTube in the yeah. comment section. Yes. I would say they're very, now, look, car- look, look, look. They're very cartoon comedic eyes but then somebody said to the untrained eye you all look chinese to me that is a line from dave Chappelle." and this sort of got into the thing of like have all asians been called chinese at some point like and we got a, a ilocano filipino friend and he still got called chinese growing up everybody who's asian got called chinese it's so weird I mean, you almost have to be like super trained to tell the differences for a non-asian i think asians within themselves more know but it's almost like if you ask somebody who doesn't really know anything about trucks to tell the difference between a Ford F-150 and a Toyota Tacoma, they cannot. Nah, it's the same truck. Yeah. Somebody said this post is going to trigger a lot of softies, especially since this is provided with no context of it being a comedy bit and then good friends. Uh, what do you think about people getting it confused? Is it just sophistication and consuming this thing or people are pulling out podcast yeah, clips? Yeah, because and- a podcast clip can be taken out of context and the podcast is a comedy podcast and there's probably a lot of untrue and goofy stuff said um so yeah i would not take anything that bobby lee is in for fact anything that theo vaughn is in it is not fact it is comedy Mm -hmm. um and i would just assume that you know what do you think about some people saying that bobby lee should have been canceled by now because he had dissed vietnamese people a long time ago and filipinos but in a joking way but he was calling them jungle asians and things like Ah, that but then he is he's also been on his on podcast saying that he believes that Koreans are the most racist Asians. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, uh, those, those are kind of just, those are kind of just like, those overarching. are kind of stereotypes. Those yeah. Are, those are just basic stereotypes. Anyway, Andrew, why do you think this went so viral? Like I said, Andrew, Russell Peters with, you're going to get a hurt real bad. Ali Wong, Asian men's bodies are like slick dolphins and give them a chance because of that. Ronnie Chang, I hope you get rich. Uh, maybe Joe Coy had a few moments here and there, especially in the Filipino community. I remember the, Joe Coy did one about driving that went really viral saying, oh, how come they say Asians can't drive even though they make the best cars? How come there are only select clips like this one that go super viral, even amongst people who do not watch comedy? I think it's because there's not that many Asians who are deep in the comedy podcast sphere. Like we very said, few, very there few. are actually a handful of very, very good Asian comedians nowadays, but they're not on the podcast circuit like Bobby is. So Bobby's the only one really speaking up about Asian topics or jokes You're all saying the time. in the specific comedy podcast Yeah, lane. so he's kind of by default the comedic representation on those popular podcasts. Right. Like, he's been on Joe Rogan. You know what I mean? So, it, like, he's on that level. You know what I mean? No, like the A tier. Yeah, so he kind of represents Asians, even though that's why I think some people are a little bit just like, uh, why is Bobby the only person in this podcast? Is circuit? it sort of like Constance Wu being the only representation in Hollywood at, at like a, at a like, certain ah, time? Yeah, man, I'm yeah. not happy with this. Yeah, so some people are unhappy, you know? Um, and I guess that's, I guess it just shows that there needs to be more Asians in that tier or, you know, I don't know. Yeah, because th- their same lack of care of like everybody's sensitivities or the most sensitive people also probably allowed them to attack to achieve that level too. Yeah. And like we said, everybody has a different threshold. I- I'm kind of like of multiple minds about it, but I think as we get m- this whole world of Asian American representation more developed, there's more space yeah. for it. Because I- at the end of the day, very, very talented comedian. Yeah, I see Bobby as a comedian only. And I don't take anything he says, even if he's dissing Chinese people, Korean people, Southeast Asian, Filipinos, and Vietnamese. It just anything that comes out of Bobby's mouth, just take it as comedy now. It's a lot easier to operate that way. He is not your number one Asian male, masculine uh, Right, no, no, pa- no Pan-Asian, bring all the tribes together. Yeah, he's right? not the uniter. He's not the Martin Luther King. He's not this. He's not like, he's not even the Ronnie Chang. You know, like, he's just not going to be that. So it's all good. So that's his role. He's kind of the jester. That's fine. Yeah. 
Like we said, guys, let us know what you think in the comments section below. I think there's valid points on all sides. Keep it civil. Encourage debate. Until next time, we're the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.